Hello, my name is Hopwood Dupree, and I've come from Hollywood to England to save Hopwood Hall. Well, I grew up in the U.S. with the name Hopwood, and my grandfather was also named Hopwood. So I knew that there was some connection to England, and he used to talk about Hopwood Hall when I was a kid. But I never knew if it was a fairy tale or if the building still existed. And one night when I was living in L.A., I was looking online at an Ancestry website, and I came across some information that showed that Hopwood Hall was still standing, and I was amazed. So I saw an email address, I sent an email, I went to bed with the time difference between LA and England. By the time I woke up, I already had emails back from people saying, Hopwood Hall is in need of help, and when can you come to England? So I got on a plane a little while after that and came over to see Hopwood Hall. So when I first walked into Hopwood Hall, I was actually completely moved by the sense of history and the heritage that's here, all the carvings and the fireplaces, everything that dates back to 1426 and potentially even beyond that, and all the stories linked to the creative uh, masterpieces that happened here. Uh, Lord Byron was said to have written his, one of his most famous poems here. So I immediately picked up on the creative connection and thought, well, this is a place that inspires me and seems like a place that would inspire other people to come and visit, which launched the idea of recreating this as a destination arts venue. Uh, and we're hoping people will come from all over the world to experience the same feeling that I had and many other people experience when coming into Hopwood Hall. We have, um, we're just beginning the work now. There's still a lot to do. <laughs> There's no end to it. There's about 60 rooms here. Living in Hollywood, I never expected that I would move to England to help restore my ancestral home of Hopwood Hall. It's been a huge life change, but it's been an amazing adventure. I'm now learning all about England. I'm getting used to the weather. Uh, it's quite a bit different than Hollywood, but I love it. I love the people. I'm getting used to drinking tea. Actually, I'm becoming addicted to tea, and uh, I'm, I'm just diving right into English life. So it's been, a, it's been a welcome change. It's been an incredible adventure and a lot of fun. I've met some really, really great people along the way. So I'm looking forward to the years to come being here in England and everything that it brings with it.